Welcome YouTube fans to my today's unboxing. This is the XFX R9 290 Black OC Edition. It's a 4GB GDDR5 graphics card, the new uh, AMD Radeon R9 290 model. Let's get started by uh, looking at the box. On the back of the box we can read uh, PCI Express 3.0 x16 Direct X 11.2 Bullet Physics Engine for real time 3D, AMD Affinity, AMD GCN Next Gen Compute Architecture, 32 GB per second ultra wide bandwidth and 8 GHz, PowerTune, OpenGL 4.3, and Quad HD and 4K video resolution, Blu ray 3D supported, AMD Crossfire. The front and side are pretty uh, good looking. Let's just get started and open up the box. On the box itself we can read an embossed XFX Play Hard logo. And inside the box we uh, do have some uh, product flyers for XFX power supplies as well as XFX other products as such as adapters, connectors or monitor stands. There's the XFX limited warranty information. There's a quick installation guide that basically tells you to use one power uh, PCI Express power connector for each power input on the graphics card. As well as a, a driver installation guide. and the uh, driver's disk itself. However, I do recommend always getting the latest driver from amd.com for maximum performance and stability. This card also comes with a special support card. It's uh, specifically assigned to a certain model number and as well as uh, PCI Express 6 pin, two of them to one 8 pin adapter and one PCI Express 6 pin power connector from two Molex. Now let's have a look at the card itself, getting it out of the box. It's wrapped in end aesthetic and it's also covered with a protective foil to keep it from getting scratched when uh, it's being transported. This is a pure AMD reference design made by XFX. All connectors are covered. It's a blower type fan. All components are actively cooled such as the memory, the uh, VRM modules and the GPU which is underneath here. These are the memory uh, modules on the other side, of course. These are the main VRM modules. And there are some additional VRM modules for the PCI Express. Removing the uh, connector protection, you see the PCI Express X16. And the input output options, or corrections, just output options, anyways. The output options feature a dual link DVI D on both, so it's not VGA compatible anymore. We have a display port as well as a full size HDMI connector. The HDMI is 1.4A, the display port is 1.2. On top of the graphics card, there is a BIOS switch. The back position is the secondary and the front position towards the outputs is the main one. There are the two PCI Express power connectors, 8 plus 6 pin, giving the card a total of uh, 300 watts. 
there are no crossfire connectors anymore as they are now through the PCI Express bus. So this card will be crossfire compatible without an external bridge. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe. Leave your comments below. 